Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. If you want to, if you want to avoid bad relationships between, for example, the black community and the cops, then lowering rates of crime would be the key to doing that. And if policing low-level crime is the way of lowering crime and preventing higher-level crime, then that's going to be the best thing. Forget the relations between cops and, and, and civilians. It's going to be the best thing for the civilians who are involved. I mean, the biggest threat to young black men in America today is young black men in America today. And statistically speaking, it is young black men who are killing young black men. The chances of you as a young black man being killed by the police, statistically speaking, are about 1 in 60,000 in the United States. The chances of any person in this room being killed by a bee attack are 1 in 56,000. So your, your chance, so the, the idea that, you know, it, the, that low-level policing of crime is what is causing this is not true. I mean, it's not even true in the cases that are being cited particularly. It's certainly not true with regard to Michael Brown. Michael Brown was shot because Michael Brown went for a cop's gun inside the cop's car. Michael Brown was shot because he charged a cop by witness testimony, including the witness testimony of black witnesses. Now, Eric Garner died because police were enforcing a law that, by the way, I think is a stupid law, but, they, but he died because he was resisting arrest and because the cops tried to put on him a, a submission hold, uh, which, is not a, which is not a justification of excessive force, which I think there was in that case. The, the problem is excessive force. The problem is not policing of low-level crime and trying to do what, what many places are now doing, including New York City, which is get rid of low-level crime and pretending that this is going to solve the problem. It's not going to solve the problem. It's going to make the problem a lot worse because a lot more people are going to think they can get away with crime. And number one way to avoid confrontations with the police is not to commit crimes in the first place. I know the historical significance of how our parents would try to make sure don't mess up, don't break the rules, because there's thousands of written rules, and then for us, there's the unwritten rules. Do you think the unwritten rules are the same now as they were in the time of your grandparents? Because you're saying Absolutely. that you're... Absolutely. Really? My son, I draw, let me tell you why. Absolutely. Absolutely. The same, the unwritten rules have to, we have to make certain that we're teaching our children. I recall dropping off my son to college last fall, and as I'm going through, he's studying pre-med at Wazoo, any parent would be proud. I'm still telling this bright and gifted kid, baby boy, if you get pulled over, make certain that you listen to the letter of whatever the officer's saying. I don't care how rude he's being. You say yes, sir, the entire time. Baby boy, don't touch your cell phone. Before you reach for your registration, make certain you let the officer know what you're going to do before you remove your hands from the wheels. Those lessons come from our grandparents, but it's understanding... Those aren't the same lessons as, as 80 those years are the, ago. Those the, the, are the, lesson, the lessons of 80 years ago are significantly more strict than tell the cops before you reach for your... Reg I mean, if those are the same rules that my parents told me, and I'm pretty white. You know, like... like so it's... I mean, I'm not... I'm not suggesting, I'm not suggesting that, that young black men don't get a different look from a lot of cops. I'm not suggesting that at all. What I am suggesting is that the rules have changed pretty significantly, and if we're going to act like the cops treat young black men now the way that they did 50 years ago, that's just a, it's a slander on cops. I believe that they do. Really? I believe, I believe that the police brutality, the movement of the Black Lives Matter, that didn't just surface all of a sudden, where the in the last few years that can, officers can just suddenly you, started. I, I this has been you, a history. Uh, I can assure you Black Lives Matter and the hashtag are coming up very shortly. I, I look at the Baltimore uprisings as more than just riots, right? I hate the idea when you say thugs and riots, right? White people riot as well. When y'all win Super Bowls two years in a row, y'all get off the hook. Don't make it seem like it's just Baltimore getting upset. So my 32nd answer is I feel the frustration of what's happening in the community, and I think it's a symptom. The, the uprisings are a symptom of a pressure that's been unaddressed for too long. Ben. 
I'm, I'm offended by the language of uprising applied to people who are breaking into other black people's stores and looting them. Uh, this is not. This is a lack of values. And people who people who are destroying private property, destroying cop cars, in an uprising against what exactly? Against the black police chief, against a mostly minority police force, against the black mayor, against the black president, against the black attorney general, against the entirely uh, against a, a city council that that is nine of fifteen are black and all fifteen are elected Democrats. Uh, what is the uprising against? What is it seeking to achieve? I still don't see what exactly the the, the riots are seeking to achieve. Bottom line is. Uh, this is all, it, it all could be boiled down to just act like a mensch. Act like a human being. Honestly, it's not a useful, it's not useful to riot, it's not useful to break things, it's not useful to throw rocks at people. And the idea that we're supposed to sort of correlate let's, let's your level of outrage. Idea. I'm going to stick to the 30 seconds on yeah, this. Yeah, the, the, the last okay. sentence. Yeah. The, the, the idea that we're supposed to correlate your level of outrage with a certain level of justification. In other words, the more outraged you are and the more angry you are, the more justified you must be is absolute nonsense. How can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Overwhelmingly, men commit crimes more than women, but we don't say that the Justice Department is, is sexist. So is there, is there a line that you draw for yourself, or is there some, some way that you interpret statistical disparity and you determine that that is not a racial disparity, it's something else? Well, we can return yeah. to it. That's okay to you. Ben, do you want to Yes. Yeah. It's, it's called evidence of racism. When there is no evidence of racism, it's probably not racism. When there is actual evidence of racism, it's probably racism. And the fact that everybody jumps from there's inequality and therefore there is inequity, just because there's inequality does not mean there was inequity. But there has to be racism. You can't, be, you can't say there's no racism. Without I mean, evidence? I mean, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that uh, I don't know which animal. Uh, maybe you, 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 know maybe we're talking about, about dogs racist. or something. I'm, I'm talking about human beings. And I'm like, m human beings are most likely going to have racial prejudices. I'm just so sorry. I, I, I'm just so sorry. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't come from a... I don't come... Yeah, I, I, come, no, I, come from, I come from planet Charles, Earth. Charles, I, just, I want to ask you a question. So your default, your default is that when there is no evidence, racism is the deciding factor. That is no, 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 I was not saying that. I'm just saying that, uh, that you're going to have sexist, you're going to have racist, you're going to have all this stuff. I mean, I'm just saying that... I agree it exists, but the problem that I'm seeing, and, and this is the problem with the general conversation, is that there's no solution in simply saying there's racism out there. How does that solve anything? I mean, when, when you talk about there's institutional racism, what does that mean? Show me a law that is racist in intent, and we will agree. Show me a police officer who commits a racist act, like we saw in South Carolina, right, where a police officer shot a black man running away and it was obviously unjustified, and I will agree. But you, the, the, the idea that you can craft a narrative based on no racism because it just must be somewhere out there in the ether, that doesn't solve problems for anybody and creates more problems for people because now they grow up in a, in a milieu and an environment where they are told that every obstacle they face is from some shadowy, nameless, faceless group who is out to get them simply because of the color of their skin. They'll never succeed in that environment. I'd hate for us to walk away thinking Ferguson was just happening in that small town. We've got to broaden our lens and we have to understand Understand. Yes, we used Ferguson, but it was used to talk about something that's happening throughout the country. Ben, I can get a quick I can get a quick response uh, from you, and then I've got a follow-up question for Monique and a separate follow-up question for Charles. On, on the Black Lives Matter idea, I'm I'm I want to find the people I I want to find the people alongside you who think Black Lives don't matter. I, I'm still looking for those people. 
Really, I mean, that, like the, the 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 implication is, of course, that for a bunch of people out there, for some reason, they're they're fine with black people getting shot in the street for no reason. Hands up, don't shoot was based on a lie. That's problematic. The idea that there is a, a, a huge number of black young men who are being shot for no reason by police officers is not statistically true. It's just not statistically true. The fact is that according to statistical studies at John Jay College, if you're a white man in a similar confrontation with police, you have a better chance of being shot by police than if you're a young black man. More white men are shot by the police every year in the country than young black men are shot by police in the country. The idea that, that there is a spate, and, and, I can, and there's an easy proof, we know all of their names. We know all of their names. When there's a broad, there are 30 million black men in America. Okay, when we know all of, President Obama said that we have a spate, it's a slow rolling crisis. Once every couple of weeks we have a case that's under dispute. So let's take his statistic. Okay, so let's, let's say it's 26. Not one is too many, and we all agree. But is it, is it really a, a slow rolling crisis with a broad trend across the nation when there are 30 million black people in the entire country and 26 people are shot under disputed circumstances and probably at least half of those, the cop is at least justified? In Michael Brown, he was justified. Okay, and, and so me, basing it on falsity, here, you can't base a narrative on lies. A lot of people are murdered by our United States military for this country. How many fucking countries are we occupying right now for that flag? How many Native Americans died for that flag? How many? How many? Answer. You're real quiet now. We're talking about genocide. We're talking about colonialism. Genocide. How many people died installing communism in Russia? What the fuck does that have to do with that flag? Why do you support Trump? Answer that. Why do you support Trump? Why do you support Trump? Why do you support Trump? My brother, you got a bottle of water. You support Trump. You got. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Do you guys want? I'm listening. Very funny. We fought against. Really? Watch out, Edge. No, fuck that. Yeah, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh, the hell out. We don't support fascism here. We are not for fascism. Trump is fascism. Trump is fascism. Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. Trump's a Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. I love you right here. Yeah, these eggs being thrown on the floor, it's because they love us. Don't you guys get it? They love Trump supporters. That's why they beat you up. That's why they fucking throw eggs. Wow, that's not even good. God, man, Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist KKK. Nazis racist
Subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.